Well, happy Tuesday. It's time for this week's video. You get ready. Well, hello, everybody. Um, I was talking to somebody yesterday. They called. Uh, they call every once in a while and ask questions about what we teach about the gospel. Um, they're still chewing on it. Um, and uh, they uh, watch some of our videos. This person watches some of our videos and he uh, listens to some of the podcasts. And he's got a couple teachings now, too, that he listens to. And so he calls and asks questions. And he even brought it up. Uh, you all know it. Questions are the lifeblood of the of the gospel revolution. So he was asking me some questions last night. Now he also is uh, regularly involved with a word of faith type group, <clears throat> and uh, and he was telling me about somebody in this group who said who was talking about perfection. Um, it's it's something that definitely is uh, is something he's you strive for in word of faith based on what you think it is and um, and he said that this person told him that that he is sometimes perfect but not always well having uh, had some exposure to word of faith uh, I kind of understand why he thinks sometimes he's perfect uh, in word of faith when you feel like you are following after the spirit then and uh, not after the flesh then you are then the, the spirit is giving you strength and the power to be perfect and how is that demonstrated in their minds it's by keeping the law not sinning against the commandments of the Bible not sinning period all that other stuff but it, in essence it is uh, some sort of upstanding or right standing based on your behavior which of course is measured by biblical commandments <clears throat> the law it is just another example of how christianity if they don't get something upside down they get it backwards and i want to explain that to you right now as to why that is backwards and give you an idea of what Jesus said perfection would be so first of all let's go to Hebrews chapter 7 um, in Hebrews chapter 7 the writer here is talking about that very thing about the law and he is saying exactly the opposite of what word of faith teaches and he is saying for the law made nothing perfect but the bringing in of a better hope did past tense which means something was made perfect and what was the better hope that was Jesus Christ which is what Hebrews is all about so the bringing in of the better hope did and he concludes by the which we draw nigh unto God okay so here the big thing uh, that totally nullifies the word of faith idea that uh, you can strive for perfection through following after the spirit and obeying the law is dead wrong here um, according to Hebrews so now let me tell you what Jesus idea of being perfect was in John chapter 17 uh, <coughs> excuse me Jesus is praying and uh, in verse 22, it starts out, uh, it is down in his prayer. Uh, he says, and the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. He's talking about all that, that God has given him. Uh, and that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and thou in me. He's praying to the Father. So we got the Father, we got Jesus. And uh, he said that they are one. And his prayer is that we be one with them so he, he says uh, that they may be one even as we are one I in them and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me 
one. We are truly one. We are one in Christ. Christ is in us. We are in Christ. Christ is in the Father and the Father in him. Prayer answered. That is the gospel. And he also prays that uh, he wants the, uh, them who has been given to him to be with him where he is. And we are seated with him at the right hand of the Father in heavenly places. That's the gospel. It's revolutionary, I know. Have a revolutionary week.